So your sales reps in the field submitted their accounts to your secretary. She then accepted it and scheduled a technician. What's next is we need to collect any unpaid balances that your customers may have either before installation or after. Here on the dashboard, when she logs in, if she's not already logged in, she can click on the three accounts that are pending to be charged. On this list, you will see all the customer accounts that have an amount that needs to be charged to your merchant. For example, the sales rep sold a $99 activation fee. Well, this needs to be collected as revenue to your company. Because the seller selected they collected a $99 activation fee, it appears in this list to be charged to your merchant. A lot of times there are companies that money goes uncollected because it simply gets lost. Well, not with Philquick. Here, for example, on this customer, let's say your sales rep collected a $149 sales upgrade for equipment they sold. It will be in this list and it won't get cleaned up until your secretary charges it to the merchant. So she would simply open up her merchant account on another tab and over here you will see an installed column. Some companies like to charge the customer before installation while others like to charge the customer after installation. Let's just say you wanted to charge your customers both before and after installation. Well, this job shows that it has been installed already. Let's clean it up and charge it to our merchant. There's a $99 pending charge. On this page, you'll see it's $99 activation fee. There were no sales upgrades. The There were no installation upgrades by the technician. The total is $99 on the account. Nothing was paid. So the remaining balance is $99 on this account. So quite simply, she would click on add payment. And keep in mind, all the information is over here on the side for her to enter into the merchant. She can simply select the credit card on file, mark it as completed, and click on add payment. That is done. You can go back to see the other pending charges. We have two more that we need to clean up. So this one is for $99 as well. And as you can tell, there's no installation upgrade here, but also the job was not installed yet. That's fine. Let's just say we clean this up right now, and then when the technician goes to the job to install it, he then collects an an installation upgrade, it will then reappear only the installation upgrade amount in the list. So she would just simply add payment, click over here, mark this visa, have the information below. Once she gets confirmation, confirmed if you guys would like to write an actual note. Go back here and now there's one left. Click on that. As you can see, on this account, there was a collected amount for $149, but then an issue, we issued a refund and said that the customer called in to complain. So now there's still a pending $149 balance on this account. So after installation, let's just say, or after clarification for the sales rep to the customer, the customer then found out, ah, yes, I was supposed to be charged this $149 for extra upgrades. As you can see, it was a $50 upgrade plus the $99 activation fee. So now that the customer's fine with it, we mark it as paid and collected. And now the balance is zero. We can go back to the list and see that there are no more pending charges. Go to the dashboard and see that now it shows zero. Once a sales rep submits a new account and there is a pending amount to be charged, it will automatically show up as one here on the dashboard. So it's very important your secretary cleans up this as quick as possible so no revenue is lost coming into your business.